Hey everyone, I'm not dead. Well, it took you long enough. So, if you're here for SMG4, this is indeed the second video. If you're here just in general, this is also a channel and a mental health update. The reason why I call it a mental health update is because during the months that I have not been uploading content, uh, things haven't looked pretty behind the scenes. And by now, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the same thing that other people were thinking as well. We've clearly gone from a, oh, he's just working on a big video behind the scenes, to, okay, something doesn't seem right here. Now, to ensure that I don't take up any more of your time, I'm going to try and summarize this as best and as quickly as possible, so that way we can jump straight into all the stuff with SMG4. In a nutshell, in the part 1 video and beforehand, I had mentioned all of these video ideas that I wanted to make for the channel, and with the usual stuff you see on this channel like TF2. It wasn't long for me to realize though, that I had overpacked myself with all of these promises that I couldn't actually make all of them. But because I expressed my interest with hoping to make these in the future, I felt like I was obliged to now make sure that every single thing was created. So I found myself working on multiple videos at the same time, which obviously of course includes the part 2 video. Pretty much, I had overworked myself. Unfortunately, during the month of August, I broke down from exhaustion. The Sesame Street word of the day is... Fatigue. The best way that I could summarize my experience with this is that when you prioritize not wanting to let down the fans and the people who watch your content, you just have to remember to also look out for yourself. You're only one individual, you have to understand what your limitations are. And just in case you're wondering, the actual content that appears on the SMG4 channel, I personally chose to continue working on those videos, because I didn't want the others to now do more work for something that was pretty much my fault to begin with. So I took responsibility to ensure that I would still do my share of SMG4 content. I've been using this time as a recovery period, and I'm happy to announce the recovery time has indeed finished, and I can resume making videos again on this channel. What I'm planning on doing is going through every single video that I started working on and seeing if it can be salvaged or not. And if so, I'll then be able to upload those videos to my channel when I can. So with that finally been updated with what's happened in my life, all the fans of SMG4 are now wondering, well, what happened with the whole thing with part 2? Was there even a part 2 video to begin with? And the answer obviously is yes. What you're seeing right now is the original version of part 2. As you can tell, there clearly was a lot that would be in this video, to the point that the video was nearly one hour long. However, this video can be best described as a nothing burger, and there are two reasons why. Firstly, the vast majority of information from that video isn't really actually related to SMG4. It's a topic that probably would be more suitable to be its own separate video that's not associated with SMG4. So to include this with SMG4 feels nothing but forced. And the other information brought up in that video at this point is now outdated. Like the whole thing with the Grand Quartz and how people were reusing their AU version of Meggy in a different way. So it's kind of pointless to bring up an issue that doesn't even exist anymore. As you all know, the original plans for the part 2 video was it was just going to showcase all the easter eggs and ad libs that I did for SMG4. But what happened is that I forced myself to be in a position of discussion that was entirely pointless for me to be in the first place, and if I had just stuck with my original schedule, I wouldn't be in the same position where I overworked myself. Not to mention that I did notice some things that I wish I took into consideration earlier on. Like, for example, regardless of all the videos of SMG4 that I've made on this channel, and all the opinions that I've given about SMG4, I'm still employed by the company. If I had clearly done anything wrong that I discussed about, I clearly would not still be with the company. 
And when also looking at the whole like to dislike ratio on all those videos, they all have a massive positive reception behind it. Now keep in mind, if you do have negative opinions about these videos, you should be allowed to voice your concerns, but it just meant for me that the stuff that I would be talking about in the original part 2 was only going to be a response to a very small percentage from the SMG4 community, which obviously doesn't represent the entire community as a whole. So, in conclusion with what we've discussed about, I want to ensure of two particular things. If those have critiques or opinions about SMG4, you're more than happy to tag me on social media about what they are, and I will be more than happy to take a look and then forward that information over to the SMG4 team. And the last thing is that I want the SMG4 community to keep in mind that I'm doing my personal best to ensure that I can satisfy every section of the community. No matter what you like, or what your critiques are, or what things you want to see more of, I will do my best to satisfy every corner of the community. So, with all that out of the way, may I present to you the final full collection of the Easter eggs and ad libs. Well, it's about time! Women. Next time it won't be water! Hello there! What a spiffing evening! I'm looking to purchase a slice of your finest pizza. I feel a disturbance in the force. Hey, you. <laughs> Not again. I can't damn it. What's that smell? You smell that? It smells like... Like a f***ing weeb! <laughs> My hotel! That's it! You're going in the blender! <laughs> Mamma mia! Damn, boy! He's sick! Boy! Gucci, Gucci. What? Take it all off! Take me back to Rainbow Road! Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Kill me! F***ing kill me! Please kill me! Someone help me! You're allowed to kill me! You're f***ing- It's allowed! When I say we're done. Hello! Nice to see you! Fine, let's try it. Anime TikTok, introduce yourself. Here's my name and my age and my pronouns in the show that I'm obsessed with right now. <laughs> Mario, we have to cook. What the heck? That right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please? Ratatouille, could we get all you f***ing useless water? The fog is coming. The fog is coming. Stop touching my dick! Ah, <laughs> good job, my boy! Thanks, Dad!
This might just... We actually hustled enough money to get my house- no! Got mail. Hmm? Yeah, she can be you. <laughs> like, actually made our lives more. It's working! Oh, outrageous. No! 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 Yeah. Christ. Oh, okay. Hi guys. Hi Steve. Hi guys. Hi Steve. Come on. Please, Dr. Mark. What do you ever do to you? Okay, any gameplay mechanics from a farming simulator we can use here. We're gonna make something unique, you know? For now, Poppy's playtime, they're all like puzzles or like. God damn it. Whoa, can you stop doing that? <laughs> Whenever I look at you, I get this feeling within my guts. Hope you're not allergic, baby, cause this body may contain some nut. <laughs> Whoa! Here comes the money! money, money, money. Mm -hmm. I had a great time! <laughs> Shut the f up! <laughs> oh. Job ever. <laughs> you did me dirty, Luigi. Like I said, it's a surprise. Oh my god! Good boy, you <laughs> 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 Hey, what's up, roomies? Hey, well, don't worry, you will find your special. Thing, <laughs> you know, one warm day. That's what he's been looking Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> what? Oh yeah! I mean... Oh. 
princess? Have you got any grease? Yes, yes we do. Then grease me up, woman! <laughs> hey, Mario! You alright? Ah, the princess. You know what they saw, Luigi? It was a f the bitch! <laughs> Say goodbye to your penis! <laughs> Straight out of the park, it's a making it all sweaty. And when I show it to Peach, it makes her panties a pretty. Would you like some fingies? I'm gonna have to quickly interject for this part of the video because this easter egg is something I don't actually have physical evidence to show but I can remember exactly what it was in my head. This Mario and Peach easter egg was gonna be near the end of one of the Mario reacts to Nintendo memes videos where Mario was gonna react to some sort of Princess Peach meme of her being angry of some sort. This somehow would have led Mario into thinking of all the times he he was a bit irritating towards her and made him feel bad about his actions. Then Mario was gonna get everyone out of the castle and he was gonna run to the kitchen and start working on something. Cut to later on in the day, Princess Peach was gonna walk into the castle and find that Mario had baked a cake for her that said something like, I'm sorry on the cake. Peach was going to be smitten, they were both going to have a moment, and how this was going to end was that SMG4 was going to go into the shot and be like, oh, this is too soppy of an ending to have, and then they would have kicked SMG4 out the castle, and then it would have had, like, a love heart fade out. The reason why this got removed as an outro was because it was too long. Oh, don't you worry, I've got you covered. Here's the list of the remaining easter eggs. And just in case you're wondering, a lot of you are able to find the past easter eggs I've done already, so I have high hopes that you'll be able to find these ones as well. But, for the sake of this video, I am gonna give you some tips. Firstly, make sure you work as a team. This isn't an individual thing. If there is a group of you that want to find these easter eggs, work together. Secondly, if you spot a segment within a video that you reckon has that easter egg, study that shot very carefully. Either looking at that shot in particular or playing the video in slow motion and seeing if something stands out. Because sometimes the easter egg will be right in front of you and other times you'll have to study the area carefully to find exactly where it is. The third one is to make sure you can spot my animation style compared to the other editors. And the last thing to mention might seem like a trick, but it's actually something that will help you. Sometimes easter eggs are easier to spot out if you already are in a mindset or can put yourself in the mindset on how someone else within the community view, interpret, or cherish certain events from SMG4 episodes. It sounds confusing, but this makes a lot of sense. So with that out of the way, goodbye four months of no content, and welcome back to finally resuming uploads for the Mediascalibur 2012 YouTube channels. Boys vs Girls 4. <laughs>